Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best baby swing. Starting at number 5. Ingenuity Convert Me. The Ingenuity Convert Me felt cheaper than the other swings we tested. It's battery operated, plus the seat isn't the most comfortable. It is a simple piece of fabric stretched over a frame. The swing only moves front to back, and it's difficult to reach in if you want to grab your baby or move them to their crib. A few bonuses, this swing converts into a seat for children up to 20 pounds and it's fairly slim, compared to most other options. But we think the cheaper feeling materials are a deal breaker. Coming at number 4. Kidco TR5101 Swing Pod. The Swing Pod Travel Swaddle Swing is a swaddle with handles, you put the baby inside, wrap them up using Velcro panels, then grab the handles and swing them like a purse, back and forth, side to side. While there's a lot of variabilities available in this option, it's also completely parent operated. It doesn't give you a break and our baby felt constricted rather than soothed. It's also only recommended for babies up to 15 pounds. On the plus side, it's inexpensive. At number 3. Fisher Price Snow. This swing, which comes in several versions including the Snuggle Bunny and most recent Snow Leopard, has a huge, supportive following online, and we can see why, compared to the other swings we tested, our baby was most comfortable in this side-to-side -side swing. It magically calmed him down no matter his mood, and he loved staring at the mirror beneath the mobile. The cradle end swing slows down when you reach in to pick the baby up, and it offers music and a mobile. While loud, we thought this would be our favorite option until it broke. We tested two versions of this swing. The first had a broken motor within a week, the second arrived broken and wouldn't swing at all. It's also obtrusive, both in look and size, making it a tough option for parents who don't have a lot of space at home. This issue of poor materials is sadly common online, if you get a swing that works, you'll likely be happy with it, despite its wide frame and very kid-oriented color scheme. But if you get a swing that's broken, or if the motor dies quickly, your only option is to try to replace the parts or to MacGyver a fix using DIY methods, which are plentiful on YouTube. Number 2 of my list. Graco Glider LX Gliding. Like our top pick, the Glider LX was tough to assemble, we again ended up abandoning the manual for a YouTube tutorial. The swing only moves from front to back, though it was stable and nicely compact, which makes it easier to move throughout the house compared to many of the other options we tested. It doesn't fold, though, so you can't pack it into the car. There are white noise and music options, and a toy bar, too. Overall, this swing was a just fine experience, but its lack of variable swing directions made it a less appealing contender. And number 1. Graco Duet Sooth Swing. The Duet Sooth contains many useful and fun features, a mobile with three stuffed bears, ten subtle classical music songs, and a range of volumes, white noise in the form of five nature soundtracks, and a two-speed, battery-operated vibration setting. This was also one of the quietest swings we tested, unlike many of the other models, the motor didn't make loud noises and there was no back and forth clicking sound. And it slows down when you reach in to touch your baby or remove them from the swing, then speeds up again once you've removed your hands. The Duet Sooth is also made with high quality materials, which suggests that you could use this swing for quite some time, and also that it's still a good purchase even if it's been used by another family. The seat, which was fairly recumbent, has a five-point harness and a padded headrest. It contains an infant insert, and can be used for babies from 5.5 to 30 pounds. Note that the weight limit on the standalone rocker is only 18 pounds. You can easily remove the seat pad, which is attached via elastic loops and straps, and machine wash it in cold water on a delicate cycle, but the brand recommends air drying the pad after you do so. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.